social media, it's a facade. You gotta get out there in the real world. To process grief. I lost my friend like a little over a year ago. Might sound corny, but it's uh, Bilbo Baggins from The Hobbit. It was my dad's dream. Everyone has a story. Every one of you has your own story. But to decide to hike the entire Appalachian Trail traversing almost 2,200 miles, living in the woods, gone from civilization for five to seven months, it takes a rare, special kind of mindset. What's driving them? So I headed to the very beginning at Springer Mountain, the Southern Terminus, to find out. Well, I tell most folks because it's there. Why not? Now, I went through a lot of uh, hardships last year, and it's something I've wanted to do for a long time, and uh, life happens this way, I now have a chance. I love the mountains, I love nature, but never really communed with it properly when I was growing up, so this is my chance to be in amongst God's creation and just see what I'm made of. I guess if I had an inspiration for doing it, <laughs> Might sound corny, but it's uh, Bilbo Baggins from The Hobbit. Absolutely a reluctant explorer, was comfy at home, had no reason to, but all of a sudden he got a call to do it, and he just did it. So I figured, why not me? Five words or less, it's because it's there. I'm on a spring break from college. I think it's just great to have nothing to do but walk and eat and meet new people. But just the simplicity of it and in the middle of a break from all the work is really nice. I'm Anna, I'm from South Carolina. Kind of in a nutshell, I just graduated college and I had a pretty crazy four years. Tired of working and being in school constantly and not really like having time to myself. Um, as a 22 year old, I feel like I'm always on my phone and I'm really ready to like not be on my phone all the time and to kind of just like have the space to, I don't know, like figure out what kind of person I am and like rediscover my hobbies and to meet people. I've already met a lot of really cool people. This is like a really good way for me to process uh, grief specifically. I lost my friend like a little over a year ago and I haven't really had the space to, like think about that or like work that into my life because I've been trying to graduate and just working and stuff. So I'm really excited to kind of just like I don't know, think about that and maybe process a little. Resolving pain in a very healthy way. That's amazing. I mean, most people these days, let's face it, a lot of us don't resolve our pain in healthy ways. But in case that's you, if you're going through something and you can't necessarily do the entire Appalachian hike, I recommend a few day hikes or at least exercise. Adam and Evie. Yeah, you want to, <laughs> she's the most to talk to. We hiked the trail last year from Virginia all the way to Connecticut. This has always been a dream of my mom's to do. And now that I'm getting up in age, I'm, believe it or not, 45, um, but always have been an athlete. I felt like, you know what, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it now. Say hi, Evie. Say hi. Hey, Evie. The <laughs> point in that is to enjoy the moment, you know. I don't want to sit behind a desk for the rest of my life and, and lose everything that I've built for the past many years, so. This time of year, you can see the beginning area of the Blue Ridge Mountains through the ridge line. As I ascend in the mountain, more and more hikers appeared along the way. I'm Mama Bear. And I'm Little Bear. And we are attempting a through hike north down of the Appalachian Trail. Walking through 14 states is going to be just a great experience, for, just for myself and to tell my kids later on. I just want to do it. I've been wanting to do it for years. Uh, we finally just decided, let's do it now. I'm very blessed and lucky I don't have anything that I'm running away from at home or I'm not trying to find myself. I'm just trying to live life fully and have adventure. And that's just about it. We're just yeah. ready to go. And we prepared for two years and now the day has finally come. This is my second attempt to hike the Appalachian Trail. The first was in 2017, but I only reached up to Massachusetts. First attempt was 
to recover from my anxiety and negativity. When I reached Massachusetts, I felt that I have achieved my goal to be just grateful, you know? So I chose my trail name, Grateful. This time, for the past few years, uh, I had been sickly, so my health vitals were not good. Sick almost all the time. I thought that hiking will help me recover again. So that's the reason why we hike again for the second time. Well, I just like her because she wants me to. <laughs> Originated by Benton McKay in 1921 via article, the Appalachian Trail runs through the beautifully sculpted Appalachian Mountains. And for half a year, across 11 states, this is what these hikers will traverse. Eye-opening, hearing these stories. Really proud of everyone that does this. If you've ever done the Appalachian Trail, say it in the comments. Say the reason why. Also, here's a trailhead for the Benton McKay Trail, another very popular, awesome trail. About to reach the top. Let's see what the summit of Springer Mountain looks like. I'm headed for uh, Asheville on the Appalachian Trail, doing like 160 miles. Uh, I'm really here just because I love the outdoors and I had the time to do it, so why not, you know? We've been planning our through hike for the last like two and a half years. Except for that. And we've been uh, a couple for almost eight years. Alex's dream, so we're doing it. Yeah, I think uh, did a lot of like the northern sections of the trail um, when I was a Boy Scout. And so uh, it's nice to try to do the whole thing and sort of get that end again. Um, will be fun. Where are you guys from? Massachusetts. Massachusetts. And you drove all the way down here or? We flew. Yeah. Wow. We flew, which one way tickets are a lot cheaper than. It's pretty <laughs> fun actually. Yeah. Tickets, but it was really crazy just like being in the plane and like watching like as we went from Massachusetts to Georgia being like, we're going to walk all of that. After a mile from the start, I looked up, saw a mix between through hikers at the official starting point and day hikers. In common, all gather near the overlook, here at the top, epic view of Springer Mountain. Be there with you tonight. Sounds good. I'll see you later. Tim Westcott from Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. I'm out here hiking the Appalachian Trail. Uh, figured it was about the right time to do it. So we're out here doing it. I'm LP and I have a YouTube channel. It's called Get Outdoors. Uh, you may have seen it. If not, check it out. It's at Get Outdoors 75. And I encourage everyone to do exactly just that. And that's the premise of my, my channel. And I'm Leading by example by getting out here on the Appalachian Trail and doing the thing. It's been a dream of mine since I was about 12 years old, since I first heard about the trail on a family vacation over to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Uh, being from Tennessee, of course, that's a special place for me. It's where I got a lot of my love for hiking and the outdoors in general. Uh, Instagram for the hike, it's the Trekking Tennessean. I'm not doing it for cloud or fame or nothing like that. It's just for my friends and loved ones, but feel free to follow. Um, not on any other social media because it's a scourge on our society. I strongly encourage everyone to not be on it. I hike just because I've always loved nature. I've always been outdoors fishing and camping. I've always done it. You're always outdoors and you're off social media for the most part. What do you yeah. think about people who are just kind of stuck staring at their phone in comparison to being outside? It's a vicious cycle. Uh, you've got to break it. You know, a lot of people stay glued to their screens because that's where they get their validation and their, their sense of purpose in life from the likes and the posts and the shares that they get. And that's not real. The people that are doing it aren't real. They're not your the people you see in real life. 
and the people you meet out here on the trail are real. They're some of the nicest people you'll ever come across. The social media is it's just, it's a facade and people buy too much into it. You got to get out there in the real world to experience it. And I can tell you're off social media because of how happy you are. Oh yeah. <laughs> It was my dad's dream. <laughs> he knew that was gonna happen. He was never able to make the trail, so uh, I just retired. And uh, my daughter had reached out to me about three years ago and asked me if I'd heard of the Appalachian Trail and what my thoughts were, and uh, and I had heard of it through my dad. So at any rate, uh, the time had come, and and. Uh, my daughter and I and, and her dog Drax decided we'd come out and, and uh, give a run at it. Very emotional. Just uh, It's our first day here and, and uh, just being on the trail is emotional. I enjoy hiking because I enjoy being active. Some do it for fun, the love for the outdoors. Some to heal mentally, physically. Some quality time, a small window of opportunity, but a few carrying the family dream. Although there were all types of people here from around the country, I noticed they shared a few things in common from the short time I was around them. They all seemed more at peace, less anxious, friendlier, and significantly more present to the moment than the average person. I'm not entirely sure why, but I have a few theories. For one, hiking in general and being in nature gives you very good mental benefits according to many studies, but also, these people were in no rush. Nothing on their schedule for six or so months. Think about it, having nothing on your schedule for six months. For those who've tried this hike, I commend you, and for those who are planning on it, my advice is focus more on trying to be present to the moment rather than hitting your daily mileage mark. And in a way, that kind of goes for most things in life. But say you've got a while before hiking this trail. In case you're interested in a day hike in the area, check out this underrated trail leading to George's second largest tree near LJ. You might like it. And thank you guys so much for watching. Have a blessed day. <laughs>